What's up guys? Welcome back to the Revenant Jeep channel. Well, right off the bat, check it out guys. The Overland Trailer Stage 1. Here we go. You guys remember that walk around of the Overland Trailer project that I got? And look at it. Whole new transformation of the Overland Trailer. Now like I mentioned, this is Stage 1. There's still a lot of more stuff that I'm going to upgrade throughout the time. And as, as I get the funds coming in, I'm going to upgrade the trailer. So in this episode, I'm going to do a quick walk around of what I've done, show you exactly what I've done, because obviously bigger tires means I had to address the axle and the suspension. So I'm going to walk you through that. Comment down below if you have any questions. All I ask is hit that thumbs up, subscribe, support the channel, and let's check it out. Let's see what I have done to the trailer in stage one. Let's go. Well, everyone, I've been anxious to drop this video just to show you the stage one of this trailer. I've been doing a lot of work on it and obviously from the beginning I told you guys I'm not a welder so this is all going to be for the person that does not know how to weld a DIY project and hopefully I can help you guys out if you guys are interested in working on a Orland trailer you can do it there's products out there that you can just do it bolt on I guess we can start with the inside of the trailer so what I did, I, my friend, when he sold me the trailer, he just had like some plywood inside the bed of the trailer. So what I did, I added these foam mats from Harbor Freight. You can get these, I think they sell them in sets of two, I believe if I'm not mistaken. And let's go down here. All I did was just bolt it on. And you guys can see there's a bunch of bolts all over just holding the mats down and it just keeps it quieter than that other plywood that I was on here just super loud rattling every time I went down the trails so that was my solution to that I can always change it up but I keep in mind I want to keep this trailer light I don't want it to be it's I don't want it to be super heavy so that's the reason why I went with this uh, type of mat and here I bought a jerry can holder now I'm going to share some of the links to these products I apologize if the items are no longer on Amazon sometimes the products go out maybe when you see my video two three years later sometimes the products aren't there so i apologize off the bat but for same thing this one's meant to bolt on to something but i don't have anything to bolt it on so what i did my solution just put a couple of u-bolts and you guys can see under there just bolt it down and that's it put a couple washers and that was my solution to get on the jerry can and then all i went was home depot i bought this rail right here just in case i put some boxes the boxes won't slide out and then let's see up in the front so you guys remember the loop and what I did I'm gonna put my rotopex here so I put the rotopex mount here I can put one here and then you guys can see my spare tire there so I think one of the most awesome upgrades on an overland trailer is how you can put mud tires and lift up a trailer from an ordinary uh, utility trailer and that's what I wanted for this trailer I wanted it to complement my Jeeps the YJ El Jefe and then Monstar the JL and so what I did I went on Facebook market and I found some mud terrain tires this one is a 31 by 1050 R15 so something like it's not the biggest tire so it's not exactly the same what I'm running on the Jeep YJ the 33s but for the moment that'll do and fortunately the axle had a bolt pattern of 5 by 4.5 so if I, in case I need to throw the Jeeps the YJs at least the tires onto the trailer I can bolt it on and it's a perfect bolt pattern on it so I didn't have to switch the axle eventually I might do that but for the moment this was my solution beautiful place and I thought this would be perfect to come out here and just show you the trailer so let's look at the axle so obviously I did the axle flip. You see the original uh, axle purchase right here. So what I did, since the axle is looped, you can kind of see it there, the loop. When I originally flipped it, well, the loop was facing down and it's supposed, to, it's meant to have the loop facing up. So as you guys can see here right there, I had a local welder just weld on the purchase. i am be honest, he charged me $100. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's decent. A lot of people were charging me close to $200. So this guy was fair. He helped me out and I told him I'm gonna have other projects gonna help me out with. Obviously you guys that can weld were probably, probably commenting or thinking like, wow, you could have done that yourself. Maybe I could have, but I'd rather have a professional do it. Uh, peace of mind that he's doing it correctly. 
and well he did it and then all i did these are products that i got from camping concept if i'm not mistaken i'll put the the real name underneath so you guys can see but the products that i got from them are purchased i didn't i'm not sponsored but i purchased the leaves so these are leaves that are rated for a lighter trailer i believe like close to a thousand the original leaves were rated up to two thousand so that's why the trailer was so stiff but now the trailer is more flexible so that's one thing i did i bought new u-bolts the new plate right there and you guys can see it real close try to zoom in as much as i can and there we have it real close view heavier duty u-bolts and it just bolted all on together and there we have it check it out so of course it has the little angle there on the axle so it's bent up and that's how it should be properly so now the new spring seats are welded on top so it gives you that extra lift so if you're interested in doing that, just find yourself a local welder, have them do it correctly. All right, so here we have it. The new springs, they're rated at a lower rate. So I believe it's at 950 versus the ones on the trailer right now. Or like, I believe close to 2,000 pounds. So they say it's a lot better, smoother ride. So we'll see if that's true. As for the wiring, it's all still the original wiring harness that the trailer came with. I haven't updated that. Everything's still in good shape. The only thing I did, I don't know if I mentioned in my previous video, but I did upgrade the taillights. So I went to Harbor Freight. I purchased their LED trailer lights. So basically that's all I've done to the Overland trailer right now. I think it looks awesome. I'm actually thinking of looking for wheel uh, fenders because obviously I don't want all this mud slinging or rock slinging at the people in the back or at the Jeep itself when I'm riding on the trail so I got to figure out something I want to keep it light so I might do something aluminum fenders um, some custom fabrication I might do it myself or I might ask someone because I had the original fenders ripped off because they were way too tight and obviously they would hit on the bigger wheels and let's see what else I've done or I'm going to do Obviously, maybe I'm just gonna keep it for the next video, I think. I don't wanna ruin the surprises just yet, but it's an Overland trailer, so you guys can kind of guess what I'm gonna be installing, what this trailer needs. And so I'm excited to keep sharing with you guys the transformation of this trailer, and stay tuned for stage two. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe, stay notified about what's gonna happen, and I'm excited to share it with you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate each and every one of my subscribers and my new subscribers as well and i'm always willing to help you guys out so we'll see you on the next video later guys